Greetings and welcome to The Fan Perspective. I'm your host, Nathan Allen. This is the WNBA 2016 Preseason Power Rankings. And for those of you who don't know, Preseason Power Rankings are based off of how well they performed last season and all of the changes they made during the offseason, trades, free agent pickups, the draft. You know, I determine where I think teams are going to fit, like what, how good their record is going to be during the regular season. Now the team that I picked number one, that doesn't necessarily mean that I believe they're going to win the championship, I just think they're going to win the most games. And, the t and I'm going from, top, from bottom to the top, starting with number 12, the team that I expect to lose the most games. So, without further ado, at number 12, the team I picked to have the worst record in the WNBA this season, the San Antonio Stars. Look, this hurts me to say because San Antonio is my hometown, born and raised here, and I want to root for my team, but they've been struggling in recent years. I, they're taking steps backwards with you know, St Becky Hammond retires, Sophie Young Malcolm retires, Dan Hughes has announced that this will be his final season. Uh, he steps down as GM already. He's been replaced by Ruth Riley, has replaced him in that position. And he'll coach the team this year, but then in the offseason, he'll help them find a new one. Also, Daniel Robinson out for the season because of an injury. Last year was a very difficult one. This year is going to be a very difficult one as well, and next year probably even more difficult still. But there is some good news. They have a lot of young talent on the roster that they've been stacking up. you got a lot of the staples of this team, like D-Rob, D-A, Jane, and you've got a lot of the young people that they've been adding to the roster recently. You know, McKay Mack, you know, last year adding Logic and D.R. Hamby. This year adding Mariah Jefferson to the fold. They, they've got talent on their roster, and I think they're going to put together a few wins, but much like last season, it's going to be less than 10, and they're going to have a good shot at getting that first overall pick. I think it's going to be a slow rebuilding process, but they are rebuilding. You can see that there are there's a good solid foundation in place. It just might take a couple of seasons before they find themselves back in the playoffs again, back in contention for the championship. So that's it. That's my pick for the bottom spot on the WNBA's 2016 preseason power rankings. Tune in tomorrow to see number 11. And until then, this has been the Fan Perspective. I'm your host, Nathan Nile, and I hope you have a good day.